Okay, get that YouTube. Now, these, I'm still waiting on the chargers. I bought a couple of different chargers. And these are the chargers out of the insides of the batteries. So that's, this is the same one, so it sort of sits in there like that, in the, in the, in the battery. Now, this is just a thought. Why can't I use that as a charger? My multimeter across here and here. Those two are joined and those two are joined. So if I put a five volt there and there, there and there, hook it all up, I reckon there's a safe bet that that's gonna work as a charger. So the blue, the little blue cable I think is a balance, I assume is a balance lead. White one's a balance lead. That black one there is a temperature sensor, and then obviously negative and positive. So I'm going to cut up a couple of cables now and see if I can solder that together and see if I can get some focus. There we go. Solder that up and see if it charges the battery or not. Um, wish me luck. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I had hoped. I had a spade connector, so I soldered everything up to the battery. I had hoped I could use one of these little... I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but anyway. Off eBay. And they go from 12 volts to 30, 33 volts. Even though it's still going up, I didn't want to push it any higher. So, transfers 12 volts to 33 volts, so I reckon it'll drain the battery pretty quick. But it doesn't go any lower than 12 and a half volts or something. So that idea is out. Next idea. Cut up a HDM of oh, the USB cable and use an iPhone charger or something at that end and see if I can power it at that end. Nothing like a bit of redneck. Right. Cables hooked in, red and black, soldered in, multimeters on, too much light, no volts, fire extinguisher, laptop turns on enough, but I don't know if it's going to provide any voltage to the USB port. I'm going to plug this into the computer and see if we get any magic white smoke didn't charge. I'm gonna unplug this. Hmm, nothing. So maybe it needs more than five volts. Or maybe there's no voltage coming out. That's something I should test next. Okay. So we have five volts coming out. So maybe this idea was flawed from the get-go. I think I might be wasting my time. Hmm. Maybe if I hook a battery up. Let's go over here to the baby pile. I really need an assistant or a tripod or something. Okay, so that one's got 449 volts in it. Oh, look at that. Now, with these batteries, where's my camera? There's a little ridge. That's positive. That's going to be positive. I don't think five volts is ever going to electrocute me. I hold that there. Hold that there. Okay. So that's not redneck at all. So it's all held in a place. And the voltage is going nowhere. 
Well, you can safely say this video was a complete waste of your time. Time to investigate a little bit further, I think. There's got to be something to this idea. Maybe it needs more than 5 volts. No, oh, I'll try it with 12 volts. I'll try it running straight from the battery and see what that does. Okay. So now... We have 12 volts coming out. So we've got the positive and negative going into the board there. Some quality soldering. Got the soldering iron too hot. So we've got 12.65 volts coming out. I'm going to suggest 12.6 volts is too much. So time to admit I have no idea what I'm doing and give up. I will just wait for the next the for the charges to come. Just seeing if anything's getting hot. I think there is getting much more than ambient temperature. So nothing's getting hot. Hmm. Maybe it needs to have a load on it. Maybe I need to put a battery on it and see. 12.63. And I'm sure I'll put that battery up. Just be careful what I'm doing. Okay, so it's 10.8 volt. One hours. Hmm. Oh, 12 volts is enough. Anyway, I'm thinking aloud and probably thinking rubbish. So I might do one more test and directly connect it up to these two terminals here and see what I come up with. That'll be my last test. Okay, so that's hooked directly into the battery. Um still nothing so I'm doing it wrong there's no doubt in my mind I'm doing it wrong and even though that one is going to be going through two boards like that uh, I give up anybody else done this I don't know. Okay. turn it off disconnect everything as a design for now, I've got to unsolder that and disconnect the wires. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> what happened? Took all the keys off. You took all the keys off. See, Tim.